Okay, this is going to be the 4.4 flip lesson on nonmetals, inert gases, and semi-metals. Um, the properties of nonmetals and inert gases are that they're poor, there's just the exact opposite of the metals. They're poor conductors of electrical current and heat. Um, solid nonmetals are usually dull and brittle. Take a look at that picture right there. Uh, they're usually very dull, very brittle, like sulfur. When nonmetals and metals react, the electrons move from the metals over to the nonmetals. And that is always the property of a, a nonmetal is that they're always accepting of electrons. And that's something we're going to get into next chapter, chapter 5. Um, the nonmetals are elements that lack most of the properties of a metal. Diatomic molecule just means that I have two. The word di means two of the same molecule. Uh, halogen is group 17. It contains the fluorine, starts with fluorine, goes on down. Those are the salt forming families, inert gases. They don't usually or, um, form compounds. Those are like helium, I'm sorry, uh, argon and neon, things like that. They can stand alone. Semimetals have properties of both metals and nonmetals. And a semiconductor is a substance that can conduct electrical current under some situations but not others. So semimetals and, uh, or uh, metalloids have properties of both metals and nonmetals. The carbon family here is an example of a family of nonmetals. They usually gain, lose, or share four electrons. Group 15 here, um, and it starts with nitrogen. It's usually called the nitrogen family. They usually um, gain or share three electrons. This is all when it's bonding with other um, atoms. Oxygen family here starts with oxygen, and it usually gains or shares two electrons. And the halogen family, it's the one that starts with fluorine, the halogen family loses or uh, shares it, sorry, it gains or shares one electron. These noble gases at the end, they uh, usually uh, don't bond with other atoms or other elements. And hydrogen is totally separate because it has separate properties. Sometimes you'll see it above the group one alkali uh, elements. Semimetals, it's this little zigzaggy line down here. Silicon chips like that are in your computers good example. Um, the most useful property of it is that they can conduct electrical current and heat, but not so much heat that it's going to end up melting your computer or anything like that. But they can conduct current. And that's it.